Hey everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 250 on the Man League. I'm John as always, and we are going to be drafting some Ikoria. We're going to run back Premier Draft because people seemed okay with it last week. The queues fill up, and uh, yeah, viewership was up a little bit. Still not my favorite way to play. I, I prefer best of three, but you know, best of one is okay. And it was with gold, so it was free. And we opened a Crystal and Giant. So it's an easy pack one, pick one. Uh, I've got some carbonated coffee from Victoria. It's delicious. It's nice out. Should be a good time. If you didn't check it out on Tuesday, I updated or I uploaded the, uh, the history of Magic the Gathering video games, which is a video I've wanted to do for a long time. You've heard me probably mention it uh, a few times wanting to do it. It's finally been done. Super proud of how it came out. I had a good bit of fun uh, doing it. I recorded almost all the footage in there. Uh, the only footage that I had to use from uh, other sources was the tactics game, the arcade game, and uh, Magic Legends, of course, because it's not out. But yeah, it was super fun. Go check it out if you haven't checked it out. Check it out again if you've already checked it out. That would be helpful. Uh, yeah, I super enjoyed it. So here, we can go anywhere because Crystal and Giant's amazing. Here, here, here. We could force cycling by taking a Dranath, string, a Dranath Stinger. That is sometimes the correct thing and sometimes the wrong thing. Um, there's an Essence Scatter, which is pretty decent. Uh, there's a Glowstone Recluse, which is pretty good, although I hear that green is not necessarily the best. But maybe we should just try to force cycling? Maybe everybody's going to be afraid of it? Who, who's beside me? Justice, maybe Justice is afraid of cycling. They took a rare. So yeah, I I, I kind of want to take Glowstone Recluse. That, that's my instinct, but green just is not doing the best. Uh, maybe Essence Scatter is just better. Because we might just not get there on Cycling. Now, if Cycling is going to be open, we see the Stinger come back, right? I think we do. So let's, let's, take, the, let's take the Essence Scatter here and see where we go. Okay, so the only cycling thing we got past was Vantasaur. Um, so nothing super telling here. There's a rare and a common missing. We got a pacifism. Figure probably a blood curdle was taken over it, would be my guess. Um, I'm, I'm fine with a pacifism. I think pacifism's fine. I think people are uh, doing the same thing that people have done for a long time, which is in this set, pacifism's actually bad. And it's never bad, it's just less good than great. And less good than great in the hierarchy of terms is good. Um, yeah, I take this pacifism. Poacher's good. Whisperer's good. Eh, we end up blue-white a lot, don't we? I'm just going to take pacifism. Hey, hey, jubilant skybonder. We could be blue-white. Oh, and there's an essence scatter, too. Mm, essence scatter essence scatter is just always great jubilant skybonder is just always good and sometimes is great <laughs> I want it I want it have we not have we always taken jubilant skybonder in the last several weeks of videos I feel like maybe we have I'm going to take the essence scatter essence scatter number two Okay, we get an Oracorn, which is not that exciting. Poacher Coilbugger is still here. So we could look at a Poacher. We could be like blue black. Yeah, let's take a Poacher. Let's take a Poacher. See where we go. See where we go. Hopefully it's someplace nice. Maybe with like a swim up bar or something. Little tiki torches around. Someplace nice. Uh, so what else is going on? I didn't stream this week. Uh, the internet was massively problematic for about a week and a bit. It seems to have been good cue my internet dying right now this second uh we get a frost links here which i think we can just take uh we have reason to head into blue these poachers so many poachers 
Maybe we take the poachers. Maybe we just try to get into a, a bit of a sacky deck here. Let's take the poacher. Um, so my internet was awful. Uh, stream two weeks ago, I lost connection during uh, a match, which lost me the match. And then I lost connection during the entirety of pack three. Uh, and then uh, uh, on Wednesday this week, my internet was acting up as I was trying to get ready to stream. So I just said, nope, not gonna do it. Um, hopefully back to streaming on Wednesday next week since things seem to be going well with the internet, uh, as well as starting the Lego streams of the next build that I'm gonna do. So here we've got a memory leak, which is okay. Um, there's not much that I'm excited about here. There is a lurking Deadeye. If we are blue-black, that is the Flash deck. There's not many ways to get the payoffs for it, but it's an okay card. I think I just want the Memory Leak, though. I think Memory Leak plays Memory Leak plays fine in Best of 3. I think it also plays uh, even a little tiny bit better in Best of 1. So yeah, let's grab that. Uh, so Lego streams, they're going to be late at night usually because I need the air conditioning to be off uh, because I do them from the unfinished basement with the HVAC stuff behind me. Um, but yeah, check those out. We're going to be building a, uh, a movie theater. Got Facet Reader, Gust of Wind, uh, Serrated Scorpion isn't bad with the Poachers. We could take a Scorpion here. I really want Coil Bugs. Maybe we want a Facet Reader, actually. Let's go Facet. I think we're going to try to be a little bit late game controly here. Boot Nipper's okay. It's just a filler card. In it goes. Nothing here. Nothing here at all. Take the fight as one. We get a blue, black, green, or we get a black, white, green. I don't know that we play either. This one lets us cast pacifism, but otherwise it's a swamp. This one lets us cast both of our colors plus green if we get it. I don't know that we'll splash pacifism. Let's take this in case we get something spicy and green. Uh, spontaneous flight. Nope. Uh, crystal, nope. Glider, dart. Stick to crystal. Let hope. And a tentative connection. Okay, what do we get? We get a Narset. Well, that's powerfully not what we're doing. So we get an Archipelago. I think Archie's probably the pick here. Yeah, pretty happy with an Archie. We can try to control the game, late game, Archie, boom, you're dead. I don't hate that. There's a Capture Sphere. Don't think it'll come back around, but I'd like it. Coil Bug, I hope it comes back around. I would like it. Uh, neutralize might come back around, but yeah, we're, we just ain't an our set deck by any stretch of the imagination. Archipelago, welcome to the team. Next pack we get... Not much that I'm excited about at all. We get a Farfinder, which I think is a bit better in best of one because it helps fix our mana. And that's it. Boot Nipper might come back around. I don't want a Pangolin. Memory Leak might come back around. Of one mind, eh. Yeah, let's just take the Farfinder. Uh, there is a blue-black duel. Let's take the blue-black duel. Ah. Uh, this is like a blue black duel let's take the far finder it, it leaves us open if we do find something that we really want to splash uh here we get a coil bug and that's about it boy i feel like blue black might be giving, being cut from me valiant rescuer obviously the best card in the pack but we are not that we could take a weaponize the monsters if we wanted to be like blue black red sacrifice which is not the standard colors for that at all let's take the coil bug yeah let's take coil bug um does this clarify our plans at all not really not really we got cards that all play I might just take another Farfinder, because I think we're gonna we're gonna need to get another color and get past actual good cards at some point. 
So let's take the Farfinder to leave ourselves open for whatever good card we happen to get past. Uh, we get a Duskfang Mentor. So we've got a Boot Nipper that can have Lifelink already. And then we could give Lifelink to a Coil Bug or a Farfinder and start going off on that. Um, we are going to get one of these Unexpected Fangs back around, I think. Easy Prey might be the better pick, but I'm going to take the Duskfang Mentor and see if we can maybe build towards that a bit. Mythos of Brokos is not really a card I'm excited about ever. It's, it's a tutor, so it's only as good as the cards in your deck, and our cards currently aren't great. Um, so we've got a Deadeye or just the Duel. I'm going to take the Duel here. I don't think we're going to miss the Deadeyes. They are fine cards. I, do, I don't think they're amazing cards there. Cycling suddenly wildly open. So I guess we missed our chance there. Hadn't seen that until just this pack. Uh, there's a pangolin, which maybe is okay. Like if we are controlly until giant is essentially unkillable and or we archipelagor, pangolin might be the way to go. I don't like suffocating fumes at all. Unlikely aid is okay. Now I'm gonna take a pangolin here so that we don't have to consider ever taking it again. Convolute's a card that I'll play. Um, boy, 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 boy. Where are these suddenly coming from? <laughs> um, yeah, let's take Convolute. It's the only real card for us here. Uh, okay, now we finally get to take the Lurking Deadeye. Welcome to the team. Dismal Backwater came back around. Cool. In you go. I like good mana. Good mana is good. Um, what a weird draft. Blue is obviously wildly not open to us. Well, we get a blue-white if we are going to splash this pacifism. So we can take that. I'm not going to play anything else in that pack. I don't believe we're going to be playing this crystal. Um, we're not hurting for playables. We're just hurting for power. I say, as I have Mecha Godzilla. The weapon. Um, Vulpakeet. I mean, we okay, we could splash it. Throw it on a... <laughs> throw it on a hexproof crystalline giant in case it doesn't have flying, except it's going to have flying at some point. Yeah, welcome to the team. Uh, Fangs. We'll see how deep we want to go on the mentor Fangs plan. I'm not a big fan of Fangs otherwise. So what do we really want? Is there a blue, black, white uh, nightmare cat? There is not, is there? Uh, another Lurking Deadeye, sure. And a Swamp. We get a Cub Warden. Which is not the most splashable, but we can play. And the rest of this pack sucks for us. The, the rest of this pack for us exists in these three cards. So we're going to take a Cub Warden and uh, see where we end up. But didn't quite get there on pack three, pick one. So hopefully our friend Justice here sends us something real spicy. Pack three, pick two. Let's take Cub Warden. All right, friend, what are you giving me? What you giving me? You're giving me a Grim Dancer. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. It's got Life Link. It helps with Duskfang Mentor, and it's a great card. There's also Divine Arrow. Uh, maybe this boot never comes back around. We're not a mutate deck, really, despite a couple of mutate cards. Three mutate cards, I suppose. But yeah, let's take that Grim Dancer. So I'd say the deck is starting to look okay-ish. I, I, I really want a Blood Curdle or two. Or failing that like a Capture Sphere. What's our creature count? It's low, right? It's high? Wow. Did not expect to see that. Uh, we get a Mutual Destruction, which is okay. Works obviously really well with the Coil Bug, as well as with our apparently high creature count that I was totally surprised by. Um, and there's not much else here. There's another Memory Leak. Unexpected Fangs. Yeah, let's take Mutual Destruction. Uh, 
And then let's see what we get. Twenty six, twenty five, twenty four, twenty three. Okay, so we've got twenty three playable cards. Can we polish it? Not really, not really. We get a serrated scorpion, which I guess is the pick here. <sighs> Next pack, we don't get much. We get a corpse churn or an anticipate. Eh, I don't think we're gonna play either of these. Let's take the corpse churn, but I don't think it's gonna make the deck. Another Vulpakeet. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go full on these three colors. Esper. Full on Esper with a Vulpakeet. Uh, another Mutual Destruction? It's not the worst thing in the world. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. This is gonna be a weird deck. I think a main deck blade banish could be okay if we are in fact just flat out going to be full on esper which i think we are we've got the tranquil cove we've got two far finders yeah let's go with that we're going to be like a controlly esper deck don't think checkpoint officer is going to make the deck hmm, vantasaur could it's a one mana cycler with vantasaur and memory leak we could cut a land we'll, we'll see I doubt it, but we'll see. Uh, we'll take a flight. And then what do we need? We need some cuts. We need a lot of cuts. Uh, Sabretooth, sure. What do we get rid of? Checkpoint officer. We get rid of unexpected fangs. I don't think we're doing the Dusk Fang Mentor go off plan. I think we'll still play it just because a lifelink counter is nice and the potential of buffing one creature is still fine. And actually we do have Cub Warden as well. Cub Warden and Grim Dancer and Boot Nipper. That's, that's, that's pretty decent actually. That's pretty decent. I think we can cut one of the lur uh, lurking dead eyes. Um, so Vantasaur memory leak was my was my cycling cut a land plan in my three color deck. Uh, but we do have enough fixing. So I think I'm actually kind of okay with that. So I'm gonna cut a planes because we have two one mana cyclers. I know it sounds weird, but keep in mind hand smoothing and all that jazz because we are playing best of one. So we just need two more cuts. We are deep on creatures at 18 creatures. Um, so let us get rid of something. We're keeping the Vantasaur because it lets us cut a land. We're keeping our Capelagor. We're keeping Cub Warden, Vulpakeets, both Bush Meat Poachers. I guess Lurking Deadeye might be on the bubble. Uh, Gloom Pangolin, you can go. Um, what else? What else? Is it just the Scorpion? I think it might just be the Scorpion. You know, Mutual Destruction on the Coil Bugs feels better. So I think that's the deck. Um, it, it looks interesting. We'll, we'll see if it works or not. Um, but yeah, let's go on in. All right, so in we go. Hopefully the deck works. Hopefully the deck works. So speaking of the uh, Magic Video Games video, I had to play a bunch of the video games and I've gotten sucked back into Magic Puzzle Quest, which I'm still shocked is actually fun. <laughs> I feel like it shouldn't be but it's actually fun. Uh, so this is pretty good. We've got Essence Scatter up. We've got Grim Dancer on three. Seems fine to me. Opponent leading with the old island play. Blue-black as well. Blue-black as well. Um, I am going to suggest that you have nothing scary that I have to Essence Scatter on turn two. Please don't make me regret it. It would mean the world to me if you didn't make me regret it. <clears throat> the main phase loot. The main phase loot. Looking for a land, I bet. Throws away a coil bug. Makes sense. Glimmer bell. Yup. Did not make me regret it. Um, so I guess we just grim dancer well we can. And we're going to go with the old Manache. Death Touch A. Menace Death Touch A. 
and then go from there. Man, our Farfinder can be sacked to uh, mutual destruction of one mind for one mana. Pretty good. Two thirds of an ancestral recall. That is powerful. Now that I've actually said those words out loud and thought about it. <laughs> Obviously, there's the the restriction to make it that, but boy, that's a common printed in the year 2020. Magic's gotten powerful. Magic's gotten real, real powerful. <clears throat> what you doing to me? You're dead waiting that. Okay. Okay. Ow. Well, if you're going to deal one to me, then I'm going to deal one to you. Deal with it. You're going to untap. Sure thing. Let's murderize the facet reader because I don't want you looting anymore. No more of that there looting. And then we are going to pass the turn holding up the scatter, I believe. <clears throat> and if we don't have to scatter, I'll drop it to Lurking Deadeye. What you got? Memory leak. Well, that's rude. Uh, well, let's, let's drop the Lurking Deadeye. They're going to take my Archipelago. Not my favorite thing that have happened. Now they're going to know about the Essence Scatter as well. going to make the rest of this game tricky. They take the Farfinder. They take the Farfinder. Wild. So they just really didn't want me to cast the pacifism? Wild. Wild, wild, wild. So, I mean, I guess we can't mutate our archipelago right now, but wild. Thieving Otter? Yeah, I'm not going to Essence Scatter that. Now, of course, the trick that they don't know is we're actually full on Esper. We are full on Esper. So we're going to pacify that. So those Farfinders weren't exactly vital to the whole operation. Going to bash on in for four. They're going to take it. Good, good, good. Whole weed shreddies. Which I believe are a Canadian thing, so you American folk might not know about shreddies. The old pass of the turn, eh? Well, we're going to drop a coil bug. You going to counter it? Didn't think so. Then we're going to bash in. See what your plan here is. Your plan is a lurking dead eye. Nope. Not today. Not today. Get in for four. Our mutual destruction does have flash by the by. So that coil bug is probably going to meet an untimely demise. Although Archipelago also might have something to say. Another pass of the turn. Fine by me. Fine by me. Let's smashy smashy. See what the plan is here. Why are you highlighting your coil bug? It doesn't come back to the battlefield, friend. You're going to block my coil bug. That's fine. Go to four. Sounds good. Sounds good. Blitz leech. What you going to do here? You're going to try to kill my lurking dead eye? Not the biggest fan of that. Well, we're going to kill your Blitz Leech, sacking our lurking dead eye. Okay, we need to hope they don't have removal for our Archipelago. So we're going to cast that. O natural, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. O natural, please no counter. You got it. All right, pass the turn. 
We'll find another way of winning. I hope. I really hope. I think it might take a while, but we'll see what we can do. If we get a poacher, we can start looting. Oh, oh, okay. You also have it. Fun. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that. You can go away right now. <clears throat> and then we'll bring it back. Bring it back. Drop a land. Recast it. So, I mean, if they have nothing in hand, they're going to go to two. I highly doubt that they have nothing in hand, though. <clears throat> Although they were highlighting their coil bug there. So they can... Do dueling coil bugs here. What you got? Down to two. Fine by me. Bring back coil bug. Sure. She's got two points of damage. Two points of damage. We can just wrap this all up. Two points of damage. Vantasaur. Yeah. That's three points of damage. Convolute. No. All right. All right. Both of us in top deck mode. Bull. Well, at least they can't attack. All right, utter top deck mode. Hey, hey, Crystal and Giant, how's it going? You should get, I don't know, Menace. Menace would be cool. Lifelink, eh? You should get, uh, I don't know, Flying. Get Flying, just get Flying. Just, 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 just get Flying. Just do it, just do it for me. Cub Warden, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, Um, what do we do about Cub Warden? We just drop it as a 3-5, don't we? Yeah, we just drop it as a 3-5. It's a 3-5. Roll the dice. Do we win the game? We don't. We win next turn, though. What you got? Feels like you might have nothing. <laughs> Show me what you got. Show me. Ah, ah, I see. So you attempted to uh, to trick me by turning on full control. I shall not be tricked. Shall not be tricked. We win. All right. Well, that worked out well. I was very afraid of when we lost that archipelago, but I forgot that we have the weapon. 1 0, 1 0. Good start. Good start. I also forgot to record this in my spreadsheet. Because that shows you how little I've been playing Magic lately. Uh, we've been playing The Seventh Continent, which is an incredible board game. Um, incredible. I just want to play it forever. Starting next week, the Mana League is now the Seventh Continent League. Prepare for that. All right, this hand is fine. It's got our colors. About as much as you can hope for in best of one, really. We're going to lead with, uh, I don't know what would scare them the most. Nothing? Swamp. And then we'll go with an island. Keep up Essence Scatter just in case. Forbidden Friendship Red Green. Okay. What you doing? Trampling? Mutating? Ultimatum? Ultimatum? -ing? It's just... It's just forbidden friendships as far as the eye can see. Ah, uh, boy! Do we need a fourth land or a three drop? Soon, please. 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 <clears throat> 
No. Hell no. You're gonna... You're gonna have to kill me with these 1-1s. One you're probably gonna do it. But I'm gonna make you do it. Needed that land. Needed that land. Real bad. Hell no. Is that five to mutate? That is five to mutate. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> well, there's technically our fourth land. Well, we're gonna go to five. We're gonna be able to bush meat poacher and blah. We're gonna cub warden and block. Hope they have no removal. If they don't, we perhaps stabilize. <clears throat> One time, please, maybe? Doesn't die to a flame spill. Dies to a rock slide. One time, please, maybe. No. You're just reading it? It's okay to read it. Just don't, just don't touch it. Please? I would like to unclench my butt. Thank you. <laughs> don't touch. Please. Please. No. 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 We're dead. We're dead. All right. We go to one. Um, we play giant and desperately hope to hit lifelink. We block. We go to four. We take three. We go to one. So we've got a one in ten shot of hitting lifelink. That's where we live right now. Nope. Sure didn't. Wow. Best of one. Definitely a fun way to play magic, eh? All right. We are one and one. One and one. Come on. Arena, work with me. You're a fully released, not beta program. There we go. All right. Let's go back in. Let's continue filling out this spreadsheet. We paid 10,000 gold. No gems. We got no gems back for duplicates. And what are we playing? What's this deck? It's Esper, right? Blue, black, white. Esper stuff with giant. All right. Let's see what we can do. I made the mistake of scrolling up to how much I've spent on draft. <laughs> how much I've lost on draft, I suppose. All right. This is, again, perfect mana. Totally fine hand. Let's not die to two forbidden friendships. Because that's not a thing that I'm happy doing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Might be something else I'm not happy doing. Cycle your card. Cycle your card. Uh, are you just one of those people that have full control turned on? Because it makes people tilt. Uh, <laughs> Ominous Seas, sure. Still a pretty likely chance they're a cycling deck. Uh, Duskfang Mentor for no value sounds bad when I can get a counter on Vulpakeet next turn. All right, how are we dealing with an Ominous Seas? We have to deal with it by killing them fast. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Turn off full control. <laughs> All right, I assume they don't actually have full control on. I assume they have... Um, uh, cycling cards in hand so if we vault the key we can jam a cub warden on top of it alternatively we could cub warden jam a vault the key on top of it it's the same thing um, let's get the cub warden down first <clears throat>
Cycle away. Cycle away. C cycle your card. There we go. All right, up to two, going up to three. We're going to have a four, five, four, six flyer with lifelink and a little cat friend, two little cat friends. Boy, that mentor is going to look real good, eh? If we can stick this stuff and not just die, we've got a shot. <clears throat> we've got a shot, but... You know, your shot against the cycling deck is, do they just have it? Because if they just have it, you're probably just dead. You know, do they just have enough cycling cards in the Zenith Flare? It's, it's really bad game design. Unlike Seventh Continent, which is fantastic. Um, we are going to jam Vulpkeet on this friend here uh, with Cub Warden on top. And we are going to smash... Just smash. You're an instant speed spell, aren't you? You sure are. <clears throat> Tap land. Okie dokes. All right, so it's up to five. So we can blade banish once for one of their Krakens. And this lifelink should hold them back pretty darn well. I will gladly take two. A coil bug. All right, so we're going to bash in for four. And then we're just going to make them real afraid by dropping this Dusk Fang Mentor and giving Cub Warden double lifelink. Got there. <clears throat> sure. Okay, so it looks like they're not, they are spread. They are a menace cycling ominous seas deck, which is less than stellar. <clears throat> that officer is gonna be a pain for our warden. So we're gonna wanna get like uh, mutual destruction, etc. for that. Let's get a land down. And then let's fly on in for four. And we will, they're not gonna get a hasty Kraken. So we will just pump and get in for five. Well, we can in for five, take them to eight. <clears throat> so we're up to seven. We're at 33. So luckily their board doesn't really matter right now. It'll matter quick with that mentor, but it doesn't supremely matter at the moment. Our little kitties are gonna attack super well as three threes this coming turn. I will gladly take whatever damage you're throwing at me here. So I can't block Menace. There, there's nothing to even think about here, thanks to their Howl Bonder. Opponent's just going for the no attacks. Interesting. Well, then. Let's go to combat. You're going to tap my Cub Warden. And that's fine. Am I going to attack in with my cat? <clears throat> I am. You bet I am. because there's no way they're giving up their Howl Bonder. They'll probably give up their Tigerilla. Wow, okay, fine by me. This is all going great. So we'll do that. Kill the Marmoset, kill the Tigerilla, gain six life. We get to drop a Farfinder, get a land. And uh, I feel pretty, pretty okay with where we are right now. Uh, what do we got? We've got everything. Let's go for a uh, black source, sure. All right. 
where's the mute button? Have to sneeze. I took too long and now can't sneeze. Ugh. Bister, <laughs> Bister Split. Good old Bister Split. Garmelon. Valiant Rescuer, sure. This could have been a really good cycling deck. They just went a little bit too far into the menace, it looks like. They're going to get their Ominous Seize, sure thing. Blade Banish is just going to say, sure, whatever, friend. Mutual Destruction Law is pretty cool, too. Um, okay. Well... Just in case they get like a keep save or something, we're going to do this main phase. Get rid of the Kraken. Let's reset all of that. And then we'll go to combat. And I think we'll just pass the turn, get counters on things. rather than drop coil bug or do we really just want coil bug down i think we really kind of want coil bug down actually because we're going to be building towards bush meat poacher coil bug um yeah let's get coil bug down because we can kill checkpoint officer and that's just gonna open this game wide up because checkpoint officer officer is the only thing keeping us in check right now Wingfold Terran, that'll keep us in check for a turn if they give it flying. They do give it flying, sure. That's fine. A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. So we're going to have to main phase this mutual destruction because we do not have flash. So let's get that going. Sack the... Bug. Because we can bring it back. Or the Farfinder because it's a 1-1, one, one, which is literally doing nothing. Let's sack the 1-1. One, one. It's literally doing nothing. All right, so get rid of that. Um, bash in for 6. Yeah, just in for 6. They're going to block with the Terran. They basically have to. Uh, we are going to pump because why not gain 7 life? We'll drop a poacher, and I believe we're wrapping this up. Unless they top decked real well. It would have to be a pacifism or something, and it was not. We are two and one. Two and one. <laughs> Finishing at 46 life. Holy moly. Good thing I kept that desk fang mentor in, eh? Well, let's keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. So yeah, the Magic Video Games video, if you watched it and enjoyed it and you want to see more, what do you want to see more of? What else can I deep dive into? Uh, I do have plans to do, uh, I don't know if it'll be 10, but number uh, of super duper rare magic cards. Uh, magic cards where there's like one copy or like five copies in the world. Because I think that could be a sort of cool video. Um, all of our colors. I like it. I like it. We'll have to find some power, but it's the best one. Can't ask for too much. You're not allowed. They they do not allow you to ask. Blue white glimmer bell, eh? Boy, that makes me semi afraid of mutate, but at least we have the mutual destruction. So let's Farfinder, get some more lands out of our deck. Let's go and grab a blue source. Is it going to be the Vulpakeet? No. Well then, I'm okay with that. Checkpoint officer, sure. We just killed your friend. <laughs> Um, I guess I just Duskfang onto a Farfinder. Next turn, I could Farfinder and pump. Sure. Let's do it to it.
I can Firefinder hold up Essence Scatter if no need for Essence Scatter Pump. That's the better, better route. Day Squad Marshal, sure, sure. None of this is threatening at the moment. Uh, I should have Firefindered first. It's the way it goes. Let's grab a Black Source this time. And then pass the turn. So Farfinder is a 2-2 two -two virtually at the moment. In for three. Well, that's rude. I'll take it. In for four. Glimmer Bell is just always coming in. Uh, okay, so nothing to counter, so we'll just Dusk Fang. And I think this is our life for the next little bit. Uh, actually, we could attack with that Farfinder, unless they tap it. No, we can't. That's not how that works. That's not how that works at all. Uh, yes, we can. Ah, uh, Divine Arrow. Eh, uh, Divine Arrow. No attacks. I smell a Divine Arrow and it stinks. Tappy Tappy. Sounds good. Makes sense. Land, sure. In for three, four, sure. Ow, ow. <laughs> That's too many of them. I'm not a fan of that. Um, we are actually going to counter that. Oh boy. The flood. The flood. Tap my far finder. Sounds good. Hmm, we might have to mutual destruction that checkpoint officer. I think we do. You go away, friend. You get out of here. We don't want your your kind here. Get out. Get. Ugh. <laughs> Disgusting. All right. All right. That hurts a lot. We're going to have to pass by that day squad, Marshal, aren't we? Boy, if we just stop drawing lands. Just, just, just stop. We're going to, we're basically on hoping that our opponent misses the tap. Oh my God. <laughs> it is very certainly spiky Saturday. All right, well, let's pacify the day squad. Nope, no attacks. Pacify the day squad. Pass the turn. But I think this is how we're going to lose. Okay. Not a fan of that. Let's get rid of that. <sighs> so we're on like an eight turn clock. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like that. Actually, that's not... That's bad in time. Now, it's not going to take much time for it to be very bad. But currently, it's just bad in time. <laughs> uh, why? Tappa tappa. Now, I'm sure some of you were laughing at me when I put 16 lands in the deck at the start, weren't you? Weren't you? Hmm, how do we get out? Can we get out? <clears throat> no pump. You got something real big? Oh, that's gross. Please, just don't be a land. Thank you. <laughs> that's all I asked. Uh, we're going to give it lifelink so that we can pump it. 
I feel that we have now won because we finally didn't draw land. We're going to lose the game. We're going to lose the game, but I feel like I've won at life. <laughs> so demoralizing. All right, I'm just going to mark this as two and two as our record now. <clears throat> In for two, you're going to make it three. Just kill me. <laughs> just kill me. Oh, okay. Wait, why, why didn't you just cast? Why didn't... Why... If you mutated that onto that, it would have been eight. All right, I'll accept not being dead. We're gonna give that lifelink for sure and death touch. Pass the turn. Haha, -ha, they drew a land finally. How's it feel? Feels bad, man. Sure, that's okay. We can block Archipelagor, gain four life, replay Grim Dancer. Block. Pump. Okay. Let's just not draw another land. <clears throat> I wish we had a way to get the pacifism off. This thing would be insane. Memory leak. Well, I guess we're going to have to take a look at what they're doing over there. Uh, life link, death touch. Show me what you got. Okay, then. Uh, let's get rid of the checkpoint. Okay, so we're still in massive amounts of doo-doo. But we get to kill the Archipelagor, right? No, we don't, because they tap it down. I'm going to concede, because I don't want to feel sad anymore. Jesus. All right, two and two. Let's get going. We're on the bubble now. On the bubble now. Let's not flood out. Flooding out is the mind killer. Don't flood. Don't get paired against cycling. I'm glad that we haven't been paired against true cycling today. Uh, there was that one deck that didn't quite get there. But our opponent here is going to play a uh, forest and then a island. That's what they're going to do. Mardu? Mardu is pretty popular these days. Yup. Um, haha, -ha, it is I who cycles. Once. <laughs> Just once. Um, Tranquil Cove, pass the turn. Let's see it all squawks for a long time. Hell no. I've seen what Heat Bonder can do. Usually not in a Mardu deck, but I've seen what that card can do, and I don't like it. I'm gonna pass the turn, maybe just drop a dead eye if we don't scatter something. No scatterino. Drop the dead eye, see if it just dies. Does it just die? It hasn't just died yet, but that sure is more flood. In for four? There's several ways you could kill it. There's Divine Arrow, there's Flame Spill, there's Fire Prophecy, there's Blood Curdle, there's probably other cards. They don't. They don't have it. There's another Lurking Deadeye, for example. Um, we'll scatter that. Because <clears throat> if that's the best they can do, maybe our Deadeye gets there. Patagia Tiger. Ew. Don't be a land. 
Ugh. Good old magical cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. There's only nine left in the deck. Nine out of 27. It's a pretty good chance. So that thing's gonna get out of hand. I'd love if we could find a coil bug. Coil bug, mutual destruction it, kill the three, four. It'd be fantastic. Nope, just find more lands. Just find more lands. That's why we have the emote, Lands Why, over on twitch.tv slash the mana leak. Oh, I should have attacked in there. No, it had vigilance, never mind. <clears throat> Maybe I should have attacked in there. There's no way they would have traded. Hard to say. Not a land. <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> We're down to seven lands in the deck. Seven out of 25. Well, I have a brand. Magic Arena is well aware I have a brand. And it very helpfully keeps me on brand. That brand is flooding like a mother. All right, let's get rid of that. I didn't have a chance to do that after that mutated, right? No, I would have had to have chosen the sacrifice. It would have been sacrificed as part of the cost. Still problematic, still problematic, but slowly getting there. Um, I think we probably just have to kill that harvester Kill the Harvester and hope they're just kind of out of gas for a little bit. Because a 1-4 is not terribly threatening. But they also have four cards to our zero cards. Which isn't great. Um, there's probably no way we can survive this. We could hit a pacifism next turn. Mutual destructions are gone. We could hit a pacifism next turn, but I do believe this is going to be the old 2-3. Can I just go back and draft M13? Can I just go back in time with magic? At some point, I'm probably going to have to do a video uh, about my feelings on modern magic design and how I don't think it's the game for me anymore. I don't think that... I don't think they're doing a good job anymore. All right, we're going to concede. I think they've lost their way. All right, so we went two and three. Unfortunate, but what can you do against Extreme Flood and incredibly unbalanced game design? Um, so yeah, two and three. Akoria. That was Akoria in a nutshell, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we've got a couple more weeks of this set. Two weeks. Two weeks, and then we'll be in the set review for uh, M21. I do think I'm going to do M21 set review a little bit differently. Um, set reviews have been massively underperforming on this channel. Um, I typically put in like 20-ish hours of work, maybe more, doing set reviews. And they've been massively underperforming the last two. So I think what I might do is a live stream set review where I don't necessarily have many notes. You know, I haven't written out basically scripts for 254 cards um, and instead I just do a big long like five hour six hour stream 
where we go through all the cards and I talk about them. Uh, I don't know exactly how that's going to look or if I'm going to go ahead with that, but I think that might be the way that we do it. Uh, I will then split that stream up and I'll upload, you know, the white set review and then the blue set review and the black set review, etc. But I think that might be what we give a shot this time around to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about Aquaria. Let me know what you think about modern magic game design, especially focused on limited in the comments down below. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me over on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. You can find me at patreon.com slash manaleek, inkedgaming.com slash manaleek if you're going to go buy anything from them. And uh, yeah, make sure you check out that History of Magic video games video. I super enjoyed making it. I would love if I could make more of that as the sort of future of the channel. Let me know whatever you want to let me know. Comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Yada, yada. See y'all next time.